didn't already have. The guessing what they think of one is real nonsense. I give that one. Okay, well these are all plot progression. It seems. Let's. Make sure homeboy's not having a fucking panic attack. Damn, I'm out of range, just like I thought. We could've called for help. I don't see any cell towers. And your phone? Your phone? It's no good, no signal. That right. I figured there might be a chance, given the message I got. What? You got a message? I mean, but it's a bunch of gibberish, and I'm out of range, so I can't send Jack. Damn it, what are we supposed to do here, then? What's he talking about? That's not his fucking voice at all. He got a message on his phone, but it's indecipherable. He's just a bit frustrated. We got that, too. Wow, show me! It's not for you, Agumon. It'll break if you toss it around. Hang on, my phone hasn't lost power. What? You're right. I'm still at full charge, too. Well, 95%. Good job noticing the power levels haven't changed. Of course I was trying to call for help. I've been much calmer than all of you. Who are you calling? Who are you calling? What? Does it matter? Fine, I'll try, try calling too. Um, it's my parents. They usually answer if I call around this time. Oh. We can't call the professor? What'll happen to us? Why aren't we getting a signal here? Who fucking knows? Alright. Bonding with Ryo completed. It's almost like we're in the digital world. Do you need help gathering supplies? Is Labramon still hurt? Where would there be food? Not in the fucking building. What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Owie? I did. It sounded like someone was turning off a water faucet. Oh, it's you guys. What are you doing here? Haru, is that you? It's Haru! Haru, did you just use the water faucet over there? Yeah, why shouldn't I? Is there any water? Water! Comes out like it always does! Which means, we have plumbing? That was easy. We have water all of a sudden. Howie seems a bit deflated. Dude, that's- no, that's Pog. That's Pog as hell. One thing solved. Well, we met one of our goals, so let's be happy about that for now. Okay, sure. Drinking water is important. And it's amazing that the water even works. And we have toilets. It's all good. We needed this lifeline. Maybe that means there's something we can use inside this building. Anyway, let's keep looking. Bonding moment completed. Still just Gazimon? Hey, Takuma! Minoru, what's wrong? Check this out! And look at all this food! We found a lot of edible plants, fruits, and nuts around here. Minoru is showing his skills. Oh, dude, that's amazing! That's amazing, Minoru. Great job. It was a piece of cake. We are looking for more peeps. We found some food by chance at first, before focusing our efforts, our efforts on finding more. Now, gamer, I have some unfortunate news, okay? Bro, imagine a relationship going up because you told a woman to smile. Think you failed Rio's bonding as his relationship didn't go up? Simply, he's dead now? You know what? We live in a society. You idiot! Don't tell them! We can con concentrate on finding people now. Let's keep looking around here. Good on you. Good on you. If he doesn't like what I say, that's his decision. At least I gave it a chance, you know? At least I tried. One more try! Because we're probably going to actually progress once Logmon. This is actually like the last one for this segment. Unless a really cool new Digimon shows up. At least now I know most of the answers. Or at least acceptable answers. Okay, what can I do? Uh, you got me. What kind of food do you like? Meat.
join me, weakling. Damn. It's crazy because I still haven't gotten Gazimon spawn. Oh fuck, I should have been using the phone. Oh cool, he got even closer to my strong gang. Aren't those are good, alright. Whoa, you scared me? I definitely lose. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Gazimon. But at least we have one. An accordion, just what we were looking for. What's the power situation? It's getting a little dark in here. The power? There are lights in the ceiling, right? Those things up there, they look broken to me. I see, well, you wouldn't expect there to be power in this wreck of a school. If we need light, we can use the flashlights in our cell phones. Yeah, because our cell phones don't die, pretty easy. The whole fucking gang? The whole fucking gang? There seems to be some edible food. It all looks so good. You're drooling, Agumon. That's disgusting. Gamer, what the fuck is that photo on the right side of the music room? Oh, uh, I'll have to look next time. And yet you're drooling too, Labamon. Don't go eat any of that, you two. By the way, I get animal sounds from somewhere deeper in the forest. So we need to be careful searching for food too far from here. That's scary. We've got water and some food. If there are spices and a grill in the cafeteria, we've got the minimum we'll need to survive. To Digimon survive. But will this really be enough? I am worried about the others. They have been left behind for too long. You know my stance? I'm worried about the others. Saki, Shuji, Kaito, Miyu, the professor. You're right. We've made it this far, and I think they'll be looking for this place too. Aoi's friends are going to be fine. And we're all the adults. We didn't go that far. There's gotta be so. Uh, they gotta be around here somewhere. You're right. We woke up there, here, but maybe the others are just lost out there too. We found our way back to the school. We should look around a bit longer for now. Free action. Free action. Old school unlocked. Bro. As you play the game, you'll be presented with situations where you have some downtime, dang and rope of free time? There are opportunities to check in with your friends, chat, and increase your affinities. You have a limited number of actions modes, so you won't be able to visit everyone. Your actions are shown on the upper right. When the number on the left reaches zero, time's up. Use the talk icon to help decide where to go. Talking to people after moving takes an action. Also, location mark with the hourglass take an action just to move to. Your affinities influence battle, backup actions, and battle and play a large role in evolution. So it's important to think about who you want to get close to when planning out your actions. No, I am treating this like real life. I already have Betamon. Um, I would like to raise your spirits. You're very scared. You're a scaredy man. Oh, hey, there's Rio. Should I say something to her? Yes. Where's... Where, I want to talk to you, actually. Hmm, it looks like Kunamon is trying to move closer to Rio. Eep, yeah! What do you think you're doing? Trying to eat me? Well, I don't think so. Q, Q. Kunamon wouldn't do that. It was just trying to cheer you up. I think. Hmph, <laughs> like I trust anything a monster would say. Don't you try creeping up on me like that again, you got that? Aw. Now Kunamon, how, now Kunamon's sad. The poor thing. Yeah, Rio didn't have to be so mean about it. I mean, I can understand why Rio would be scared, but still. Rio, you gotta be nicer to Kunamon. We gotta teach you to be friends with Kunamon. Oh, it's Rio. Alone in the classroom again? Ah, oh, whoops, I guess he's not alone. Man, everyone out here is out of their freaking mind. That includes you, Kunamon. Shit, say something already, why don't you? Um, yo! 
The heck? Since when you've been spying on me, Takuma? Who was spying? Um, you know Kunamon can't talk, right? The heck? Man, this freaking place. I keep getting stuck with the short end of the stick. Kunamon's not the short end of the stick! You got a mouth on you, Takuma. You too, lizard breath. I didn't mean... I'm not a lizard, I'm Agumon! Shut up already! I don't know what the heck anyone's saying anymore. All you are freaking nuts. Um... That includes you. Are you messed in the head like Minoru, or just an escapist like Aoi? Well, I have to agree that Minoru's got a screw or two loose. <laughs> right! Something's not right with that kid. As for Aoi, she still seems to think someone's gonna come and rescue us. I can't say I share her optimism. Wait, seriously? It almost sounds like you're picking up what I'm putting down. Ryo's a realist. That must make everything we've seen that much harder to swallow. Can't say I like the guy, but he makes some decent points. The heck's gonna happen to us? This is just Danganronpa S, but they called it Digimon S. Uh. We gotta... You may not want to hear it. We have to stay positive and work. Alright? We gotta fucking survive for ourselves. It's up to us to decide that. We've gotta stay positive. If we work hard enough to pull it off, that'll be an answer in itself. That is exactly what I wanted to say. Are you touched in the head, man? I'm positive your way of thinking will land us dead in a ditch somewhere. Do our best, work real hard, then we'll end up back in our normal lives, that's it? Well, no, we may survive out here. Okay, well, when you put it that way. How wrathful. Idiots just say whatever comes to mind, don't they? Ridiculous. This place win, this could be the end of the line, you know? Dude says some nasty things, but, well, I kind of get it. Sigh, I wish this bug thing could at least say something. Kunamon's not a bug thing. Shut your freaking trap, iguana face. My face is not an iguana. Come on, leave him alone, Agumon. Well, uh, later. Yeah, just gotta, gotta be nicer to Kunamon, bro. You gotta be nicer to Kunamon. That's what matters, you know? Things come and go. You gotta be nice with Kunamon. It's the important thing. We've pissed him off enough. You said, what's the image on the side of the music room? It looks like a photo of the music room. We have not checked out old school area, so let's check it out where this lab is. Oh, hey, there's Minoru. Should I say something to him? Uh, sure. Because we're here. Oh, it's you, Minoru. Didn't you go off on your own somewhere? I can't just run off without making the necessary pre preparations, now can I? And I cannot let him go off on his own. That's true. Good thing Falcomon's with you. Hey, Takuma, do you know if this is edible? Uh, isn't that just some weed? Bro, bro? Can we eat it? Mm, definitely. We can eat that. Gamer, I mean the photo inside the music room. It doesn't matter. I... Don't believe... I mean... I believe we could eat it. I don't believe it's a good idea. Really? You're not just saying that? Uh, hey, spit that out right now. Given the unseasonal red spider lilies, I thought this might be some cud weed. And I was right, you can eat it. They used to substitute it for mugwort in old recipes. I know you know lots of weird facts, but there are better ways to check. It's one of the seven famous spring flowers, man. Who says I can't eat it? We found some other plants or fruits that look edible. We should keep looking. Listen, I know I froze up with everything going on, but I'm a survivalist at heart. I wouldn't go that far. Hey, Falcomon, this guy leaps before he looks, so watch after him, okay? Leave it to me. Come on, guys, I'm right there. Oh yeah, I found something good. Ah, uh, didn't raise his bond. He's dead now? Because <laughs> he ate the weed. Yeah, Takuma, you take it. It's not more weeds, is it? No, it's not a weed. Jeez, just take it. What's this? Why is something like this? Enough with the questions. Here are all yours. You know what? Thanks for the speed charge, my man. I'm not going to doubt you about eating anymore. My man just proved he knows his stuff to me. I respect that and I will remember that. I doubted him. Ain't going to doubt him again. Uh, I'll talk to her. Oh, it's Owie. Should I say something to her? 
Um, you are her. Labramon, why are you running your nose against the ground like that? Oh, never mind. I'm searching for food with my sense of smell. Hey, that's a good idea. Let me try that, too. You get anything? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, so much for that. Agumon's nose isn't as good as mine, so he can't search like I can. Not that I've found anything either. Well, let's keep looking until we find something. Just what I was thinking. Alright, yeah, Aoi time. Oh, Takuma. How goes it, Aoi? Found anything edible? Not a thing. Useless. If Aoi couldn't find anything, then there's nothing to be found. That's funny logic, but okay. Well, let's just keep looking. You're right. Let's look elsewhere. Gotta be a party when Shaggy comes. Let us know if you find something, Takuma. Is there food here, though? Is there? Is there really any food here? There's probably just monsters. Well, you're right. We don't know for certain, but we won't know unless we look. And I'd be worried if we did nothing. Owie. I'm sorry, you're doing your best. I should shut up. It's fine. Things always seem terrible when you're hungry. You might be right. After we find some food, we'll leave the cooking to you. Right, I'll try not to let you down. Ah, the kitchen! There should be the first pl that should be the first place we check. I thought it fucking was. I'll go then to Takuma. I actually, I'm not even joking. I thought they looked there and we're looking elsewhere now. Okay, there's absolutely maybe food in the kitchen. Fuck. Can you believe these people? It's so funny that every single person hates what I told them. Um... Bro, are you still fucking moping in the classroom? Are you still fucking moping about? Still in the classroom? You're not gonna look around? As if some messed up monsters are shulking around here, right? Sure, but Kunamon's here to protect you. You gotta be kidding me! You and the alligator thing might be all buddy-buddy, but I don't get this thing. I'm not an alligator. Humph. <laughs> Disgusting. Can I trade with you, bro? Nah. 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 You don't call him disgusting. Fuck you. Don't be so insulting. He's in this mess too, after all. Say what? You bump your head or something? This thing's just some freaking monster. I bet these things have some ulterior motive for trying to follow us around. Hey, we do not. Humph. <laughs> A loud mouth as always. Listen, 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 listen. I'm between between you and me. Alright. Fucking between you and me. Our ears only. You don't have you do have ears. Our ears only. No man left behind. But if we gotta pick between one or two people. Um, yeah, we got. We can talk to each one of them one more time, and then I'll pick one of them to talk to again. It's Aoi. I wonder if she found anything. Bro, she's setting up the kitchen, bro! Hmm, I thought we could find something in the cafeteria, but that was wishful thinking. No food, then. It looks like there's nothing here. You're looking for food? Yes, I guess if push comes to shove, we'll have to take our search outdoors. Don't worry, Aoi. When the time comes, I'll be sure to protect you. Thank you, Labravon. This might put Aoi in danger. I don't like these choices. Because don't go on your own. It doesn't make sense because Labramon's with her. I'll look out for you, I think, is a little, little, little too pushy. And also implies she can't take care of herself. No, you can't do that. Takuma? It's too risky to go for you to go out alone. We should all go. Yeah, you're right. It would be safer with all of us. But isn't it pointless if we all look? Fuck no. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I figured. What? What are you- No, what are you talking- What do you mean it's pointless if we all look? It's okay, Haru Miyuki are here. There's gotta be food in the school. 
Yeek. What? A message? That doesn't... I thought we didn't have a signal. Is it a bunch of garbled text? I got the same kind of message. Huh? Yeah, it is. Doesn't look like it can send messages from my side either. Gamers really overanalyzing free time choices? I actually think this one was a bad choice. I will... Oh, very openly. Rio. Alright, here's, here's the actual truth. I'm not doing the dang and rompa pick the answer I think they'll like. I'm picking the answers I would say. Um, and I hate all of these characters. And so I don't... I'm not agreeing with any of them. What is this? It's kind of spooky. Can't worry about that now. The search for supplies comes first. No, that doesn't use another event. I genuinely care about most of the fucking Digimon more than I care about the people. Yeah, we'll go talk to you. It's more. I wonder if you found anything. I really didn't trust Minoru to just eat some fucking weed off the ground, and I was wrong about that. We found more. There's a lot growing here. Hey, Minoru, what are you doing? Hey, Takuma. Check out these mushrooms. Those literally have crystals in them. Wow, so many. Can we eat them? They have crystals on them? I'm pretty sure these are not edible. Are they poisonous? <laughs> Probably. Thanks for the heads up. I'm too hungry to think. Have I eaten those mushrooms? Hmm, well. Something wrong, Falcomon. We love those mushrooms, but I heard they are poisonous to humans. What? Poisonous to humans? I can't eat it, so it's all yours, Takuma. Thank you. Well, uh, later. Oh, food for my Digimans. That's pretty hard. Gamer is sabotaging combat to say fuck you, Minoru. I don't think there's anything left to do with my free time. Hang out with Agumon in the gym. Okay. Thank you for telling me, because there literally isn't a way to spend my free time any other way. there food here, Takuma? I don't know. We made it this far, but come to think of it, why would there be food in a gym? Is this food, Takuma? What? Where? No, that's not food, but it will be helpful. Good job finding this, Agumar. Okay, boost seeds. Anyway, Ryo's fucking dead. He wandered off and got killed. We've looked everywhere we can. Was there food? I also think Wagamon have been lost for 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, Minoru found some for us, to be honest, and we'll need more. Where else can we look? Guys, over here in the gym. Yikes, what was that? Owie. It came from inside. Maybe she found something. Let's go. No, wait, not everyone might have heard that. Let's go tell the others first. Okay. Oh my, everyone, come here! Are these emergency food stores? Damn, well, you were in here for like 20 minutes. Oh, I get it. This sort of place will be used as a disaster shelter after all. Thank goodness, we can make do with these for the time being. Now hold on a minute. Are you sure this stuff is edible? Looking at the shape of the school, you, be you better check for an exp expiration date. I'm having a fucking stroke. Um, uh, huh. I don't see one written anywhere. What'd I tell you? I ain't gonna put anything that suspicious in my mouth. Oh, I gotta say, it does sound iffy. Even to a pig like you, Minoru? Hmm. Now even I'm a bit worried. Okay, then that means it's all mine. Agumon, what are you... Mmm, now that's tasty. Well, sure, who knows the taste buds a monster's got. When in Rome. Hang on, Minoru. Minoru? Minoru started squirming. Hey, are you okay? He's gonna be like, it's so good. Mm. Minoru's writhing around to see if we'll react. He's playing us for idiots. Oh. Um. Do, 
knock it off. If you're just fucking with us, it's not the time to be fucking around. Stop fooling around, Minoru. What do you mean, Takuma? I'm really in pain right now. I know you've been watching us for a reaction. Oh, this is the end. Oh, shut up already, Minoru. Psych, gotcha. Minoru, I thought my heart was going to explode on my chest. You son of a... There's a time and a place for joking around. You idiot. Knock it off. Now you just think about what you've done. Haha, <laughs> well, it looks like the stuff passed. We found a lifeline of water and food for now. Still, we don't know how long these supplies will last, do we? Between us and the little ones, I would say half a year. Holy shit. Half a year? Are you out of your mind? The past two days almost killed me. Half a year is optimistic, man. We haven't got seen any signs of rescue, you know. Minoru will not think about what he's done. Yeah, the little telltale thing pops up. Minoru will not remember that. It pains me to say this, but I guess you're right. Oh boy, human food is so tasty. Oh yeah, let me try some too. Mm, well, I cannot say I'm as intrigued as you two, but... I should at least check it for poison. For Minoru's sake, that is. I'd say Minoru's taken care of that for us already. Come on now, don't be so rough with the food. Anyway, why don't we search for other food, just in case? Yeah, and we'll look for our own food too, our own way! Then the supplies will last you guys at least a year. A year? I can't imagine staying here that long. We might end up burying each other here if we're unlucky. I told you I didn't want to hear that kind of talk. Alright, now that we've taken care of our supplies, why don't we look around as much as we can? The emergency rations are ready to eat, so we can travel around and camp out with them. You forget about those monsters roaming around outside? Have you finally lost it? Oh, uh, huh. Oh, but the professor, Saki and Shuji might be out there somewhere. Not a chance. And if they were, there's no point in us going after them. They may be out there, but we can't risk ourselves over a mere possibility. Oh. What's up, Haru? Something wrong? I found this in the forest. Isn't that the professor's hat? It is. I thought it looked familiar. I oh, know it. They're here. Then we need to go look for them. Are you crazy? We're going to be safer here. Hmm. Think about it. It's already been a day, right? Things are working out for us. But with no food or drink to come by, those guys could be in bad shape. Yes, that is true. Fine. We won't leave their fates to chance. What? Hey, you got a death wish? Not while we're around. Indeed. We're going with her. If any bad it comes your way, I'll fight them off for you, Ali. Yes, I know. Thank you. It's too dangerous for Miyuki and Haru, so they'll stay here. Me, Takuma, and Aoi will. Now hold on, you expect me to play babysitter for those brats? What'll I do if another one of those spider monsters attacks us? It's not like this stupid caterpillar is gonna keep us safe. Kunamon's not some stupid caterpillar. Kunamon here can handle himself. News to me. <laughs> we might indeed run into something like Dokugamon again. We can't abandon them all just for Ryo. What should I say to Ryo? Nowhere is safe! There are no safe places, Ryo. There might be unknown dangers in the forest. You might be attacked here, too. You'll have to figure out how did Digimon survive. Ugh, who made you boss? Fine, fine, I'll go with you. Better than sticking around here. Why aren't you gonna hold down the fort, Ryo? You can stay here, you know. Shut up, I'm going with you and that's that. Not really sensing that cooperative spirit from you there, champ. Minoru, enough of that, okay? Ryo is older than you. You shouldn't talk down to him. Alan? I love you? Shut the fuck up. We're gonna shit talk Ryo when he's a piece of shit. Right, sorry, mom. <laughs> Whatever Ryo says. I would still it would still be safer to hide inside the school, wouldn't it? I agree. Hey, if there's any trouble, just hide inside that pantry, okay? It's fine. Don't worry about us. Alright then. You keep an eye on your brother, okay, Miyuki? You got it backwards. Huh? Oh, you mean Haru looks after you? She's nodding. It's weird how Miyuki hardly ever talks. I wish she would say more. Bye. Yeah, see ya. I'm a little worried about leaving those two behind. But for now, we'd better focus on finding the others and quick. I think the kids are fine by themselves here because they've lasted this long on their own. Already. Let's split up then. What? Don't be stupid. We have no idea what's out there, right? And if the person attacked is all alone, they'd be done for. It's risky to split up, you're right. 
It's better to search separately. We need to find them in fast. But it'd be awful to be attacked alone. How many monsters are out there? It's, it's not split up. It's either stick together or groups of two. We know they're nearby. Maybe we should be in groups of two. That's a plan. Let's do that. But then whoever gets Ryu will be stuck with this short thing. I'll take... Here's the thing. I would not put Ryu and Minoru on a team by themselves at all. I think Aoi and Minoru... I mean, I think Aoi and Labramon can handle Minoru. Me and Kunamon can handle Ryu. Hey, Minoru, don't say that. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous around here. We'll be okay. There's a slight odor still, but we're probably fine. And no matter what, we'll protect you. What a joke. Unlike you, that thing can't even talk. If we go into the forest, it might just go back to its nest or whatever. Kunamon wouldn't do that. Yeah, he'll protect Ryo for sure. Shut up! I said I am not going in there. I'll look around here, okay? And if something happens, hurry back. Let's just leave him. No! That's not what I chose! That's fucking stupid. Woods by Shrine unlocked. Inner Shrine unlocked. Entrance. Free battle unlocked. Who's in the free battle? We have Gazimon. It's Ryo, what's he doing here? Fucking nothing like he always does. Q Q. Kunamon seems like it's doing its best to look around. There's just one problem. Q Q Q. Why? I thought I told you to keep away from me. Sorry, that was you made for a minute. It's saying so close to Ryu that it might as well just be searching in the same spots. And what? There's nothing around here. Hurry back. Jeez, he's such a coward, but he still acts like he's the one in charge. Maybe I should tease him just a little. I thought about moving around for a bit. Okay, then I should look around, too. It'll be dangerous. Stay close, okay? Yeah, I know. Rio's hard to handle, huh? Enough already. I'll follow you. It'll be better if he comes and helps instead of just staying here terrified. Ryu has been drafted. Ryo has joined the squad. Ryo has been saved. There, ch let's check the other areas. Hmm, I feel like there's something here. Oh, dude, yeah, sure, why not? Hmm, what's this? Wow! Free items, baby. Looks like there's something on the other side of the rock gate. Seems like a cave inside. Alright, weird that I can't just go in, but whatever. There's something here I can feel it. There's a couple things here. That shadow! <gasps> a battle! So is Kunamon with us now? Because Ryo said he would join us? Yes! Oh, well, they're all with me, so it doesn't matter. Um, we need Gilmon so we can gain levels. Agumon, because he's our main. Uh, Gazimon to gain levels, and you can go back him up here. Kunamon, because he's, like, good. Betamon is based as hell. 
Uh, we don't really need heals on this one. Gazimon, your job is going to be to go get that crate. You don't need to evolve yet. I didn't mean to do that at all. Misclick. take the one that's going to appear on this side. Mmm, they're playing defensive here. Yeah, we're going to jump you from the side. to a top. We can maybe get some items from there. Is wanting quiet time to yourself such a crime? Let's say no, but it's not easy. I'm just guessing. Okay, we know that answer. If your friend was off causing trouble, how would you deal with it? Protect my friend. Whoa, is that what it means to have common ground? How do the clouds in the sky look to you? Fluffy and tasty. F. You gonna progress in the game? Dude, go right ahead. I'm simply doing a casual battle. Um. I am gonna help. Falcomon with my guy here. I was kidnapped. What's going on now? A random Betamon fight that I came across. I like to avoid a pointless battle if possible. Then let's retreat. See, look, see, he's very peaceful. This one's a peaceful guy. Do you have someone told you an idea you believed was incorrect? Thank that person. Not that peaceful, though. Looking at innocent monsters really puts your heart at ease, huh? What a gentle soul. I don't need you, so I want items. Then I'll give this to you. Whoa! Get annoyed was the correct one. Okay. I will kill the others. Almost. Not quite, though. You're getting ever so closer to the box. Can you reach that? Oh, you can! Awesome! Ooh, boost bushel. Side crit. We'd love to see it. What happens if I just. I feel like I can just do auto battle now, honestly. Oh, look at that defense. 
Look at them getting body. I want to see what auto battle looks like. Let's try it out. Oh, great snipe. Auto battle would be better if, like, we had the speed cranked up, but I don't. I can't really do that now. Good assist, however. Bro, why did that do no fucking damage, dog? What the hell? Oh yeah, the sneak attack. Probably should have used your fireball. I think auto battle is kind of dumb as shit. Have you went to the inner shrine yet? No, it would not let me. Unless this is it. Wait, hold up. I say no. I don't know where I am at this exact moment. I've been in this battle for a minute. Got the Summer Slam spoilers going up. They got that simulation going. Alright, cool. Got some good items. There's the old shrine. Wait, I thought there was another thing over here. Yeah, there's one right here. What's this? It feels like a voice or someone con someone's consciousness in my head. The Tale of the Murai, Chapter 1? Sure? I forget how long it's been since the Emissary of the Shogun told me. You are hereby ordered to complete the murals for the new shrine. The Shogun himself chose you for this task after hearing of your great skill. Give this your best efforts. I happily accepted the commission, of course, and responded with a, Sir, it's an honor. Now here I am, thrilled as I walk up to the entrance of the shrine. Finally, I thought, my talents are appreciated, personally chosen by the Shogun to create the centerpiece for a new shrine. I'm sure to be seen as Hinamoto's chief artist. The thought was enough to make me laugh. What's so funny, you stupid painter? Have you no respect for this shrine? Who was this kid? Probably just some brat. Oh, if it isn't the head of the Shogun's personal guard. I'm honored. Very funny. You're the rising star. I heard the Shogun personally chose you for something. That's right. I'll be decorating the walls of a new shrine that's going to be built here with my masterful murals. Mark my words. These works will be spoken of for generations like the new reliquary hall of Kiriyameitai. You know they exist to simply all gamers for themselves. I was the picture of enthusiasm as I said that, but the boy didn't seem impressed. You mean that hall covered in gold leaf? You think it'll be some spoken of for generations? If you ask me, something more subdued would. Hey, got any ideas for the subjects of these murals? For all that I'd accepted this commission, I'd gotten so carried away I still had no idea what to paint. Thoroughly self-absorbed, I see. Forgot the close per, uh, quotations. As for subjects, are you familiar with the local Kimonogami faith? No. What's a Kimonogami? They say people once performed a ritual here that involved sending sacrifices to another world. Then powerful gods appeared from that other world. They called them the Kimonogami, and some people still worship them. A very a pretty typical local faith. Hmm, the Kimonogami. I like the sound of that. Tell me more about these local gods, or point me to someone who can. What a way to ask for help! Anyway, you should talk to the Shrine Maiden. Her job is to pass on the history of this uh, place so she knows more than anyone. Great, thanks! So I went to meet with the Shrine Maiden. She heard me out with composure, then said, So you would learn more about the Kimonogami faith? Yeah, I got the gist earlier, but I was hoping you could tell me something more striking. <laughs> you are the very definition of rudeness. How amusing. The story she told was long and rambling, but the events were fascinating. It was about a boy's sacrifice and his older sister. Long ago, when the world was... In okay, I know that, obviously. Uh, long ago, when the world was in chaos, a group of children were sent to another world to save this one. There, in the world of the gods, they gained the power of Kimonogami and brought peace to humanity or something. The Shrine Maiden spoke of this as a great achievement, but it sounded like pointless human sacrifice to me. What's worse, one of those children was a boy sacrificed by his own sister. Did the boy hate her for what she did? What was the girl thinking? 
Anyway, after hearing the story, I got to work. I threw myself into painting the murals, my head full of what I'd heard from the Shrine Maiden and others. I lost track of time completely, working until I got tired and decided to go out for a break. I had been in the dim light of the Shrine for so long, the sunlight stung my eyes. Then, as my eyes adjusted, I grew completely astonished. However long I'd been in that Shrine, I still remembered what it looked like outside. What is this? Where am I? I cried, staring out in an entirely different world. Whoa, and it appears there's four more of those. Ah, I see. There's an absolute ass load of lore that we can probably miss. And it, it's worth noting, that did not pop up when I did the this thing. Meaning you have to just find them completely on your own. A shrine built in the middle of a spooky forest really makes you want to stay away. I guess that's what you call a soul. So you cannot rely on the, the bumpers to find those four. Now, it's interesting you said if you've been to the Inner Shrine, because... Well, let's see here. That's the only one here. Yeah, and it doesn't pop up when I do the bumper, so this is probably another one. The there is something here thing Takuma said might have been the hint. Perhaps. All in the seasoning, chapter one. But I felt like that was him saying there's one in general. Who knows? We'll just keep checking. We'll keep in mind. That day was the first time I'd ever seen a human child. I couldn't explain it well. How could I know what it was, having never seen one before? Even so, the moment I laid eyes on her, my heart leapt. I finally met her! Hey, hey you, are you okay? Mm-hmm. The child was obviously in a bad way. I don't know a thing about humans, but I could tell this one wouldn't last much longer. That baseless yet assured concern made me desperate to look after her. I warmed her with fire, fed her nectar. By the time the sun was high in the sky, the child finally opened her eyes. Uh, oh, what? You're awake. How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Huh? Uh, where? Who are you? Who, me? It's strange. I feel like you're not human. Yeah, well, I'm not like you, that's for sure. But don't be scared. I'm a good girl. Girl? You're a girl? Huh, who would have thunk a creepy body like that belonged to a lady? Creepy? Of all the rude things to say. And after I looked after you this whole all this time. Huh, you looked after me? But why? Um, you were on death's door just a little while ago, you know? Barely breathing, just skin and bones. Well, the skin and bones part hasn't changed. I mean, are you even eating properly? Eating? I don't get much to eat, no. And not just me, everyone's in the same boat. What? None of your people are eating? What's going on? According to her tale, the place she came from is going through an awful harvest. And not just her village. The same was happening all over the land of Hinamoto, so her entire world was going through turmoil. Even in the royal capital, I like to think it's creepy, Mon. Even in the royal capital, rice shops were falling into ruin. With nothing to eat, what else could they do? So you see, I was offered as a human sacrifice to beg the gods for help. A human sacrifice? Yes, I would go to the land of the gods and beg them to bestow upon a bounty upon us. The child's had it rough, that's for sure, to think they'd offer up an ankle biter like this. And when I woke up, I was here, so were you and... Huh. Hey, you aren't a god, are you? Um, what, me a god? Well, yeah, you're the first thing I met after becoming a sacrifice. That must mean you're a god, huh? Well, am I right or am I right? Now, now hold on a se one second. Let me get a word in here. That was the first time I'd ever met a human child, and the 